Good morning everybody. We're just down here in Castle Town, briefly, uh, just to show you the old Castle Town Brewery which is just behind me. You see the archway there, that's where the dray horses were and the coopers were making the barrels. But unfortunately this brewery closed down in 1986, the same year Bushy's Brewery opened. And uh, it's a shame that it's gone because it's a lovely building and now it's all apartments. But uh, fine old traditional brewery was Castle Town. So, let's get back into Douglas and look at the old Oakles Brewery. See you in a minute. So I've moved up to Douglas and this is Oakles Old Brewery on Falcon Street, which shut down in 1993 when they moved to their new plant just outside Douglas. And uh, it's right in the residential area, Douglas, so you can smell the hops and the malt throughout the town centre, it's fantastic. And a great bottling plant as well. But uh, sadly, it's uh, gone to a new site, but they're still going nowadays that's the main thing so uh, we're going to go back to the garage arms because i've got some bottles from that era from back over 40 years from the castletown brewery and the Oakles brewery so we'll have a look at these old bottles they're all unopened and uh we'll have a quick skip through them and we'll open one of them up and see how we go so i'll see you back up the garage arms very soon cheers hi so we're back up the uh garage arms and here's my selection of Ales from over 40 years. Now well, I've got two there with no labels. That one there I opened up on my very first video and it's uh, to celebrate the wedding of Prince Charles and Lady Di, which didn't go too well, did it? So uh, these three are from the old Castletown Brewery. This one I opened a year ago, which is uh, on one of the videos. Uh, it was Castle Town 200, and that was uh, 41 years old, that is. And the next one is a barley wine, and there's no ABVs on any of these. You don't know how strong they are, and that's from Castle Town, and that is uh, 1985, which is 36 years ago. And the last one from Castle Town is a Nup Brown Ale. Again, uh, on here, you'll see the dates. It'll say a little nick there and it says the month and the year. And that one is November 85, 84, sorry. Uh, so that's like bang on 37 years ago. So the next four, these are from Oakles. And this one is Oakles Millennium Ale. And that one is 1979, 42 years ago. And then we've got this one to uh, celebrate the Alaman steam packet, what brings, that's the ferry, the Alaman ferry. And that one is, you can't really see that very well. Dun, 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 dun. That one is 41 years old. This one is a pale ale from 1980. 1980, that one. But this is the oldest one I've got, and it's from 1977 to celebrate the Queen's Jubilee, which was, she was, on the crown in 1952 and in 1977 she'd been on the throne for 25 years so i'm going to save that one till 2007 that'll be all right won't it now uncle's brewery many years ago i went for an interview there for a job and the manager said uh, what are your strengths i said well i can perform under pressure he said can, can you give us an example so I'm like, pressure Looking down on me. Classic. Classic. Anyway, the final one is not from the Isle of Man. It's Guinness. And this one is 201996. Just there. So that is 25 years old. So I've all got dates on, but no ABVs. So we need to open one up. And the one I've chosen. I'm going for a lighter ale because the two I've opened before have been quite dark. So it's this Falcon Pale Ale from Oakles Brewery from 1980. So this one is 41 years old. So we'll get a glass. Top coming off. Blimey. Let's give it a go. Definitely smells of beer. <laughs> right. I'm not sure. Uh... Right. Let's get head on it. If we can. Should I get head on it? Well, it's 41 years old, this. 
I'll put it all in. No, I won't. I'll leave that bit out. Sediment and all that. Right. So, <laughs> it's actually quite clear. It's got a nice white head. It's a uh, amber colour. Oh, it just smells of malt like. Let's give it a go. Let's have a good slurp and all. Straight away, no messing. Ah. You know what? Oh. I was going to say it's not bad, but I've just got a right aftertaste there. It's not bad, you know. It's not, it's not bad condition, that, is it? There's not many bubbles in it. A little bit. A little bit of carbonation. But, uh... That's all right. It's <laughs> oh, yeah, no, it's not all right. It's coming through now. It's it's malty, but it has got a bit of a fruit note. It's all right. I quite like that. Oh, 40 year, 41 years old. <laughs> it's not bad. It's better than Doom Bar and all that shite. I don't. I, I, can't, yeah, I feel like I'm going to open them all now. So they're all like anyway. Shall I open another one? I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll open this one. It's a bit of a darker one, this. Will that top come off a bit too easy? <laughs> right, let's try that. This is one with no label on. I think this is around, obviously, a 1980 era. So this is probably 40 years old. The colour's alright, isn't it? <laughs> Slightly darker. Oh, that is treacle. <laughs> right, hang on. Oh, no, that's not too good, that one. It's bearable, but... The one with no label on, not great. But this one, it's fine. I'm really enjoying it. I'm actually going to say it and finish it off. All right, isn't it? Right. So, thanks everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed something different. We'll be back in the pub next week, but just something different. And uh, <laughs> have one more slurp before I go. That's all right. That pale ale from Oakles Brewery, 41 years ago, is all right. It's got fruit notes as well. It's malty, but nice not vinegary no vinegar at all anyway thanks for watching keep subscribing and uh, see you soon in the pub next week cheers